Hello friends, my name is Kailash Sharma and today I am going to explain you how you can get the user domain using VBA code. Now very first thing is that why you would need a user domain. There are a couple of reasons for it. One is that if you want to use the user domain to control your tool usage, let's say the tool or the solution that you have created you do not want that user to use it in cross domain in another domain basically so that way you can use this user domain to check whether the user belongs to the same domain or not the second is you can capture the domain on which domain your solution is being used so here if you see we have got two different method to get the user domain so when we click on it we get the message, the user domain, as well as in the sheet one, range one, uh, A1 also, we get this name. And there is a second method. Both the outputs are same. However, the codes are little different. So let's go to the code window and see what is this code. So I'll go to view code. And here is module one. And this is method one. Now method one, how we have done it, we have used a environment variable which is user domain through which we are getting this user domain information and that we are storing it in the user domain variable and the same variable we are pasting it in the cell a1 and also showing the message box now some of the users have reported that the first code doesn't work in in this case we have got the second method now in the second method what we are using is we are not using this environment variable instead we are using wscript.network so we are creating a variable or object here of wscript.network storing this information in this object and from there we are getting the user domain information and the same we are storing it in the variable that we are returning it or say uh, placing it in the cell a1 as well as showing the message box so if this code doesn't work you can use second course both codes here it is working fine thank you very much for watching this video